Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Soundscapes Rock. Today, we're covering all that you need to know about Foo Fighters' new drummer. For over two decades, Taylor Hawkins played a vital role, serving as the backbone that helped shape the sound of Foo Fighters' music. He became the second most recognizable member right after the legendary Dave Grohl. His tragic death was a heartbreaking moment for all of us. I mean, who can forget that emotional performance when Grohl cried mid-performance at the Hawkins Tribute Concert? In May 2023, the successor to Taylor Hawkins was unveiled as the new drummer for the Foo Fighters. So what sets this new drummer apart? Did he have a prior connection with Taylor Hawkins? And how will he contribute to the Foo Fighters music moving forward? Stick around till the end because we'll be delving into all these questions and more. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And can you please help us reach 200 likes on this video to beat the algorithm? Let's get started. Our new drummer goes by the name Joshua Ryan Fries. He resides in Southern California alongside his wife and their four children. Interestingly, Joshua hails from a musical family. He is the son of the renowned tuba soloist Stan Fries and the older brother of Jason Fries, a touring keyboardist and session player. He has lent his talents to artists such as Green Day, Dr. Dre, Jewel, Lenny Kravitz, and Weezer. It appears that musical talent truly runs in the family. Josh Fries has been a member of the punk rock band The Vandals since 1989. He's also been a part of the new wave band Devo since 1996. Previously, he was a member of the hard rock band Guns N' Roses from 1997 to 1999, and the alternative rock band A Perfect Circle from 1999 to 2012. And recently in May 2023, he became the new drummer for Foo Fighters, Interestingly, he played at tribute concerts for Taylor Hawkins before being officially announced as the new drummer in a star-studded and tongue-in-cheek live stream. Freeze, a veteran musician, has appeared on over 400 albums since 86. He's contributed to new records by artists like Lana Del Rey, Rob Zombie, Bruce Springsteen, A Perfect Circle, Sting, and many more. His credits include playing on hits like Evanescence's Bring Me to Life, Good Charlotte's The Anthem, and Puddle of Mud's She Hates Me. During the live stream, Freeze shared a fun story with Grohl about covering top 40 hits in a band at Disneyland when he was just 12 years old. Josh Freeze's impressive workload has earned him a pristine reputation as one of the most in-demand session drummers in the business, according to Variety. He humorously refers to himself as the blue collar freelance drummer to the stars. Now let's explore Freesey's friendship with his predecessor, Taylor Hawkins. Taylor Hawkins tragically passed away at the age of 50 while on tour with Foo Fighters last year in Columbia, leading to the cancellation of their remaining shows. The band later returned to the stage for two all-star tribute shows in his honor at the end of 2022. During these shows, Josh Freese performed with the band. In a social media post, he revealed that he specifically requested to play on Hawkins's drum kit. Believing that Taylor's drums needed to be on that stage, he wanted to play on the exact setup that Hawkins had used and to channel that energy onto that stage. Back in September in London, Hawkins's teenage son, Shane, joined the band for a special tribute concert to his father. Alongside Josh Freese, he took his place behind the drum kit, performing My Hero in a heartwarming tribute. Freese and Hawkins had a unique connection as Orange County natives, as Freese himself described it, a funny little bond that always reminded him of the times when people kept talking about that other young guy from OC who was already making records and touring when they were teenagers. In a lighthearted tone, he even joked about if only he could trade bank accounts with Taylor. Free shared that he's not typically one of those gotta represent kind of guys, but both he and Taylor grew up just 30 minutes away from each other in Orange County. Whenever they found themselves in a group of musicians far away from home, they would humorously joke that they were the only two guys from OC in the room. Now let's dive into how did Freeze got introduced. When the early Foo Fighters music was recorded, Dave Grohl was the focal point and most of his initial bandmates left soon after. However, over the years, the Foo Fighters lineup changed and at times it seemed like Grohl was the sole significant member. Taylor Hawkins, during his more than two decades with the Foo Fighters, left a huge mark on the band beyond just his drumming skills. 
He was widely beloved for his contributions, which were evident in the all-star tribute held in his honor after his untimely passing. Even musicians known for being difficult to get along with like Axl Rose and Liam Gallagher expressed their admiration for him. In January, the band announced their decision to stay together and continue performing after the tragic loss of Hawkins. Foo Fighters have introduced their new drummer, Josh Fries. The announcement was made during a live stream event titled Foo Fighters Preparing Music for Concerts, which took place in their 606 studios in Northridge, California. The live stream began with an amusing segment where Foo Fighters teased the arrival of famous drummers. Chad Smith of the Red Hot Chili Peppers made an energetic entrance only to complain about being blocked in by another car in the parking lot. Tommy Lee from Motley Crue appeared with food delivery and Danny Carey from Tool dropped off a pair of poodles he had groomed for the group. The camera finally revealed Josh Fries, who exclaimed in frustrated manner. Guys, could we just like, I don't know, play a song? Or two? Something? Yeah, man. This scene marked the beginning of a new chapter for the Foo Fighters with Josh Fries as their drummer. Now, if you're curious about their latest album and whether Freeze took on the drumming responsibilities. Well, it turns out that Dave Grohl took charge of the drumming for Foo Fighters' most recent release, but here we are. During a live stream event, the frontman discussed the drumming technique employed in their new track, Nothing At All. After performing the track, Josh Freese mentioned that he appreciated how Grohl played it with one hand, explaining the beat as it appears on the record. Whenever I listen to that song now, all I can hear is how f***ing clean the snare drum, you know, I didn't even notice it when you explained the beat on the record that you're like, I think I played it with one hand. Like the arm. I did it like when I demoed it at my house. Yeah. And I had just woken up and I was just tired. You're like of checking your text messages with one hand and... <laughs> But on the shitty drum set at my house, it just kind of sounded better. He also mentioned that he wasn't hitting the hi-hat and the snare simultaneously, which created a sense of spaciousness in the sound. If you enjoyed this video, you'll certainly love our previous one on their all-time favorite, Everlong. We'll be sure to provide a link to it below. Now, we're eager to hear your thoughts. Do you believe that Freeze can bring a fresh perspective to the band? Will he rise to the challenge of surpassing the beloved former drummer, Hawkins? Share your opinions with us in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell. And can you please help us reach our goal of 200 likes to beat the algorithm? That's all for now, folks. We'll catch you in the next video.